Agent Quo, I feel quite confident that only you will be able to decode these messages and that they'll prove to be invaluable evidence in your case against the First Sons. The world needs to learn about what's happened. Efforts must begin immediately to repair the damage done by the Ray Sphere. Damage for which I am ultimately to blame. Share these recordings with your contact in Empire City. Time is short. Audio Surveillance X-04, leading with NSA agents John White and Lucy Quo. Are you there, John? Go ahead. Now that you've infiltrated the First Sons in Empire City, it's time I introduce you to my contact here today. John White, meet Dr. Sebastian Wolf. Wolf? That's the secret asset you've been protecting? That's... Hell, he's responsible for half the stuff we're here to investigate. Oh, easy. It's all right. Wolf's risking his life to help us. We're all at risk. The NSA selected both of you for this assignment because you carry the conduit gene. It made you highly desirable to the First Sons, but that doesn't give you carte blanche. They watch their new initiates very, very closely. They'll have no qualms about killing you. Sim Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file A435. That new facility you folks are building below the carriage house, it's overwhelming. Hats off to you, Doctor. Our technology is a hundred years ahead of the rest of the world. Don't be so modest. When I joined the First Sons, they told me that they had technology a hundred years ahead. Now, that sounds conservative. When I saw that place, I thought I'd been abducted by a UFO. Sorry for the confusion. They were just caves before. I knew them well. Played in them as a child. They were part of the Underground Railroad, smuggling escaped slaves out of town. Then it was prohibition. Whiskey instead of slaves. Now, now, we're smuggling in the future. Audio surveillance of Agent John White, file D-045. I have news. I've been promoted. I will not directly with Kessler now. I've certainly made a meteoric rise through the ranks. That's suspicious. Maybe Kessler knows I'm with the NSA. What? No. He'd have killed you. Maybe. Kessler says you're to deliver the race sphere to Empire City immediately. But what does that mean? He stepped up the timeline. Well, we can't give in to him. It's time to end this. Tell Director Houston I'm ready for extraction. Forget it. We are still building a case against the First Sons. We don't tip our hand until we've gathered enough evidence to bring down the whole organization. Until then, you stay where you are. And send over the sphere. Audio surveillance of agents John White and Lucy Quo. File D-134. Sorry for the radio silence. John, what's happening up there? Tell Wolf his invention is a big success. The race sphere. Kessler sent it out by courier. It's one of the labs, I thought, but he... Set the time. God. It's like a bomb. Five, six city blocks reduced to rubble. It's corpses everywhere. There was this kid right in the center of the crater. He had survived. Oh, yeah. A strong. I don't believe in coincidences. He's got to have some connection to Kessler. I agree. He's definitely a person of interest. I'm watching him. But one more thing. There are a lot of conduits cropping up, far more than Wolf predicted. The city is full of them. I discovered a potential method for reducing or possibly eliminating the human costs of ray sphere radiation. This was Bertrand's reaction. Except from audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file A075. 
I didn't join the first sons for the betterment of mankind. I joined them because I want powers. God has a purpose for me, that I might better myself and use my gifts in his name. Besides, I'm tired of waiting. I've already assembled the prisoners, the race fear. It's already in motion. Tonight, I will become the sword of God. Time to go. Cars waiting. Audio surveillance of Agent Quo, file G27. I got my hands on an Echelon phone transcript the day Kessler detonated the race fair. He requested a very specific bike courier for the job. Do you mean Cole McGraw? There's more. I, I may have found some important new insight on Kessler, but I can't make it out. Kessler knew Cole McGrath had the conduit gene. That's pretty clear. But I can't find his name in the First Sun's database. So how did Kessler know McGrath had the gene? Exactly. Do you think they're related? Huh. You know, I can try to find that out. Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file B082. We need to do something about that swamp trash. She's been killing my boys and disrupting my operation. It's costing me money. The men are starting to get superstitious about the swamp trash. She's slippery too. Can't track her once she jumps in the main bush. What did you have in mind, sir? I thought perhaps she would rip up some kind of conduit radar or something of that nature. Does this take precedence over the five other projects you have me working on? No, damn it! You finished the solar things first! The conduit detector. Put it on the list. Audio surveillance. Quo, file G58. Reports keep coming in. Some kind of swamp ghost has been tearing up militia camps. You don't believe it's a ghost? Well, I had a hunch we might be dealing with a new conduit, so I bugged one of the camps last night. Like, I got lucky. Let's move it. What? What was that? Observations of Subject 881, file C-152. Today we had a surprise oh. visit at the lab. One of Bertrand's charter buses unloaded 52 men with curious accents requiring medical screening. Every one of them was in top physical condition. They were soldiers of veterans. I called one over to review his file and asked him about the symbol on his duffel. He admitted they were from Wehrmacht 88, a private military firm out of South Africa. During the examination, I discovered scar tissue covering his body. Landmine, shrapnel, bullets, machetes. The whole group was similarly decorated. Needless to say, the exams took longer than expected. I thought perhaps Bertrand was recruiting some new muscle. Subject 881 was surprised I wasn't better informed and became tight-lipped. He did let slip that, in fact, Bertrand was the one being paid. And he laughed at my expression. I was Bertrand being paid. He refused to say. Many more buses followed. Audio surveillance of Agent Lucy Quo, file G84. I realize you placed a lot of faith in me, Quo. I want to be deserving of that faith. And right now you're not? I need to confess something to you. The NSA asked me to record our conversations without your knowledge. What? Why? They never told me. Perhaps it's because you carry the conduit gene. I don't know. How often do you... All the time. 
If you like, I can submit copies to you along with my regular reports. I'm on your side. Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file B146. What kind of lemon are you trying to sell me, Doctor? The transfer device works precisely as designed. We're seeing an 86% power exchange rate between individual conduits. But what you're trying to do... I'm trying to turn a profit, Doctor. Your fancy machine is cost money. Splitting the power stream among multiple recipients is dangerous. The results could be highly unstable. As long as it works, we're in business. Make it work. I paid a visit to the First Sun's dorms where the Wehrmacht men were housed. Subject 881 approached me and we took a walk. Recording follows. You seem agitated, Doctor. I figured out what Bertrand has in store for you. He's going to use the transfer device, isn't he? Sorry. No, I can't say. Do you know who the conduit is? I just can't comment on this. You need to know something. The transfer procedure was never designed to split abilities among multiple recipients. I don't know what it'll do. You just got my attention. Theoretically, you'll all be overclocked, so to speak. You'll receive a portion of the true conduit's power, but your body will wear itself out trying to sustain it. You may go insane. Why are you telling me this, Doctor? Bertrand, you wouldn't like it. I'm not a brave man. But if I'm right and you and your men lose control, then I'll have far more to fear from you than Bertrand. Audio surveillance X04. Meeting with NSA agents John White and Lucy Corp. I've been observing Cole McGrath for weeks now, and I'm starting to get a clearer picture. We're pretty antsy over here, John. What have you found? He's chaotic. He's unpredictable. Even after all this time, I still have no idea what he's going to do next. Frankly, he seems confused. I'm sorry that I can't offer more than that, but I don't know. Maybe all this confusion will work in our favor. Maybe it means he'll be malleable, more willing to take direction, you know? I'll tell you, when the beast arrives, it would be a major advantage to be in control of a conduit with McGrath's abilities. Thanks for the update. Wolf and I clearly have some thinking to do. Audio surveillance file X-04. Meeting with NSA agents John White and Lucy Quo. That's a lot better, John. We can hear you. How are you calling us? It's a tin can on a string at this point. After the quarantine went into effect, we've all had to improvise. What's going on in Empire City? We're not getting much information on the outside. <laughs> Neither are we. Not getting enough food or medicine either. The president claims they're sending supply drops three times a day. We're all trapped in here. It's like they want the disease to take hold. There are no efforts to study it. Oh. I believe they knew this would happen. The race fear, the disease, all of it. They had a blockade around the whole city almost before the dust had cleared. This points to a massive conspiracy. What if the NSA and the First Sons are working together? I can't believe that. But you're right, this is disturbing. We had no idea things had gotten this bad. Can you tell us about the disease? Well, they call it the plague in here. It started striking the population soon after the blast. It's highly lethal. Some folks died the very same day they show symptoms. Oh, God. This is my fault. Every one of those deaths. I should have done more. Audio surveillance X27, meeting with John White and Lucy Quo. Look, we've all heard Kessler's prediction. A conduit of incredible power will rise up in Empire City and then decimate humanity. After everything we've seen, I for one believe him. He convinced me as well. All of Kessler's predictions have come true. He won't be wrong about the big one. 
Pity the NSA doesn't share our convictions. They would just fall back on guns anyhow. We are the only ones who understand the nature of the situation. Well, if we can't work within the NSA, then we have to go out on our own. Audio surveillance file X76. Meeting with John White and Lucy Quo. I wanted to uh, advise you of a recent incident. Kessler's plan is unclear to me, so I'll just stick with the facts. Kessler kidnapped McGrath's girlfriend, Trish, and dangled her off a rooftop. He said McGrath had time to save her, but there was another rooftop with six doctors about to die. McGrath had to choose. Sick. Madness. He tried to save his girlfriend. I know maybe it was selfish, but I can't say I wouldn't have done the same. Kessler killed them all anyway. Of course. Evidently, he wanted to toughen up McGrath before the beast arrives. Who knows, maybe he succeeded. McGrath definitely seems tougher than I've ever seen him. I love the way you... Audio surveillance file X-137. Meeting with John White and Lucy Quo. Wolf's been working on new ways to boost a conduit's power. The results are encouraging, but now they need to be tested. John, can you convince McGrath to come to New Marais? No, it's not the right time. John, please, it's the perfect time. What if the beast shows up? You said it yourself. McGrath is not ready. Let's make sure he is. Not yet. Look, I'm working with Cole to track down the Ray Sphere. That supersedes everything else. For all we know, the Ray Sphere could be the catalyst that creates the beast. Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file A078. I'm not happy! This isn't how it's supposed to be. You! You! You turn me into a monster! Whoa. We simply have no way to predict how the conduit's power will manifest. I can control myself. What am I gonna do? Why would God do this to me? You... You're going to make this right, Doctor. You hear me? The process is irreversible. I am sorry, but I don't... You can't help me. I have no more use for you. Oh. Audio surveillance of Lucy Quo, file R013. These monster attacks have the whole town in a panic. I can't understand where they're coming from. You need to get out of your lab more. People are dying out there. The Numeray police force wasn't equipped to deal with this crisis. Most are already dead. Bertrand hasn't wasted any time either. His militia has rushed in to fill the void. And while some are fighting monsters, they're also gaining acceptance as the de facto police force. They've started accusing some people of having deviant blood. Bertram's going off to conduits. <sighs> it seems that way. Everything that's happening seems to benefit Bertrand. Most people have started looking to him for leadership. I can't believe this is happening. Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file B074. You've been holding out on me, Doc. I'm going to have to keep a closer eye on It was a happy accident. I was looking for ways to refine expended ray sphere cores after a blast occurs. Possibly reuse them. One of my test animals happened to get too close to the core sample and absorbed it. Afterward, I discovered it was exhibiting completely new conduit talents. Maybe your last cores can do something for me. Surely God intended me to do more than turn into mindless behemoths. New power that might reveal his greater plan. Audio surveillance of Lucy Quo, file R84. Look, I know John is dead, but I, I'm not sure I should leave you here. I'm on the verge of completing the RFI. I can't leave, not now. Bertrand will make his move soon. You understand that. I think he means to seize all the First Son's assets. I agree. Very few of them showed up for work today. You should get those blast cores hidden. I'll be fine. Bertrand still needs me, remember? Quo, you'll miss your boat. Maybe the last one out. Go, find McGrath. 
Bring him back here, and for God's sake, hurry up! Voicemail from Lucy Quo. I made contact with McGrath soon after I got here. He wasn't that hard to find. <laughs> he is cagey around women, otherwise I would have tried some romantic methods. He's obviously still in mourning, so getting him to leave may be difficult. So far, my best angle has been you, Dr. Wolf. The promise of new powers never fails to get his attention. Audio surveillance of Lucy Quo, file RA35. The new species from the swamp display humanoid characteristics. But how did they acquire the DNA? Which way up or down the food chain did they travel? My guess is they're on top of the food chain. Of course, the ambient wildlife of the swamp was exposed to radiation. Animal mutations, it's a viable theory. I just don't understand why Bertrand has refused to bring me samples of the creatures for study. Why would he? You come up with some kind of repellent and his militia is out of a job. Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand. File B-62. Did you know Kessel had visions of the future? Had him all for lunch yesterday. He said he was visiting to inspect our facilities, but I suspect he came here to Gray just to give me a message. He predicts the arrival of Congo. Such power and wrath, it's gonna consume the world. He called it the beast. He said it would come here to enumerate that we must arm ourselves, prepare for its coming. He said we don't have much time. Sounds ridiculous. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed it is. Nuclear weapons. I heard gunfire all over the lab and screams. Thought it was a government raid until I heard Burton's disturbing voicemail. No doubt you're wondering why I posted armed men at your door. Kessler is dead. The first sons are finished in Nure. I've seized all their assets. You work for me now, Dr. Wolf. And there's much work to be done. The good news is, you make great strides with me at the helm. I'm gonna triple your funding. And you won't have to experiment on rats or monkeys anymore. You'll have an ample supply of human test subjects from now on. <laughs>